place. I started at the southern end of the shoal in the castle area, and this is the area that these black tip sharks have basically made their home. The upper water column is their home, and you can really see how fluidly they move. Agile, pelagic predators. All of a sudden, a dolphin appeared from below me, and the sharks were still bunched around me near the surface. The dolphin was on its own and wasn't very brave, was quite timid, not coming too close. You see the dolphin giving way to one of the black tips. But there you see quite an amiable interaction between one of the black tips and the dolphin. I hopped across to the cathedral in the boat and swimming through the arch, I was horrified to see no ragged tooths. This is normally such a trusty location for these animals. And I managed to find one lone, beaten up looking ragged tooth right in the back of the cave, looking a little bit worse for wear. The top of the tail fin either bitten or cut off. Not exactly a prime specimen of the ragged tooth shark species. So I decided to move on and I swam hectically further north all the way across to the Raggy's cave area. A nice big one in the foreground, a couple in the cave itself. But still not really the numbers of ragged tooths that we've been seeing. Here you can see the difference between the black tips and the, and the ragged tooth. This shark can tend to float at the opening of Raggy's cave, just feathering its tail, keeping the water moving over its gills. The ragged tooth also like to spend a lot of time right near the bottom in dark crevices and are far less agile and far less frenetic and don't seem to have the same sort of insatiable appetite. Out on the sandy patches, the sharks had congregated, having moved out of the, the darker caves. And this is a change. I mean, maybe we're seeing something evolving here in the breeding cycle of these sharks. But plenty of sharks away from their usual strongholds, which is a change for us.